Hey guys, welcome back to another fun pregnancy update with me. I am 38 weeks and this is our third child for those who are new to my channel. Um, yeah, baby number three. So super, super exciting. Um, and 38 weeks, I am, I'm at the point now where baby can come any day now. And so I'm super, super excited. So yeah, anyway, I'm excited to talk to you guys about what's been going on these last two and a half-ish weeks. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. All right, so I am on my ball bouncing because it's the most comfortable thing to sit on. <laughs> and I am dressed very cozily because it is cold outside, unfortunately. But anyway, so 38 weeks is here. I am full term officially. Um, which is super exciting. If the baby comes, baby's considered full term. So yeah, anyway, full term and ready to have this baby. I am, I'm very ready to have this baby. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, so baby has dropped now, actually. Um, I would say that the baby actually dropped right around 37 weeks, um, which is crazy. I wasn't thinking baby would, like, I know, like your first baby, normally they drop and they stay down, right? Well, with previous children, or with more children you have, it seems like they kind of bob. Um, this kid's like stayed down, which, I mean, it can happen, so anyway. <laughs> but yeah, baby's been, has definitely dropped. I have a lot more room up here, which is really nice, and I'll show you more when I stand up and show you the bump, but anyway. Um, so, week 36 <laughs> went really well. Um, we had a, our home visit at 36 weeks, so the midwife came to our house instead of me going to her office in Missoula, which is another town that's like 30 minutes from here. And so she came and kind of just, she got to know everybody who's going to be at the birth. Um, she's been at all of my other births too, so she knows everybody, but there was a new gal who's going to be at my birth this time, and she's a friend of ours, and she's going to take pictures and stuff, so um, I wanted her to come. So she came, and she met my midwife, and then my mom was there, and my husband, and so everybody who was going to be at the birth was there. So um, she was able to meet them, or meet her. And then we just kind of talked about how the birth was going to go. Baby was doing great. She checked the heart rate and everything. Um, I'm now seeing my midwife once a week. Um, and so, yeah, but 36 weeks came and, came and went without any big fuss. Um, the home visit, um, mostly she wants to kind of like know where you live, you know, find her way there, um, kind of get familiar with your house. And so, and then uh, she also brought the birth pool that she loans to me for the birth. And so it's really cool that she has her own birth pool. But, um, so yeah, anyway, that went really well. And 36 weeks, like I said, it kind of came and went without a hitch. Um, and then, which was nice because um, once you hit 36 and five, 36 and five days, I think, or four days, you can have the baby at home, but up until that point, you can't. And so it was nice to finally get past that point where if I had gone into labor early, I could still be have baby at home. And so we are past that point now, so everything's just good. Um, so yeah, anyway, 36, 37 weeks comes around and I actually skipped my appointment because of just, she was really busy and I was really busy and we just couldn't meet and I was feeling fine. So we might as well just check in with each other and make sure I'm doing good. Um, but 37 weeks really definitely brought on a lot more contractions, a lot more feeling like, oh, maybe this would turn into something. It never did. But like real contractions started coming, which is crazy and awesome and exciting. Um, but definitely like just me trying to remember to breathe through them and let baby kind of just drop and relax my muscles, relax everything, really focus on breathing techniques and all that kind of stuff. So 37 weeks definitely brought a lot of that. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, 38 weeks, which is, I turned 38 weeks yesterday, so it's not much of an update on that this week, but I'm doing great. I'm feeling fine. For the most part, I feel so done though. Like I'm just ready to meet this baby. So yeah, just really ready for, you know, this all to be done and have this baby. Um, I'm getting really excited to go through birth again. And a lot of people think I'm completely nuts for even wanting to go through birth, but I kind of, I think I just crave the excitement, the adrenaline, the rush of 
having a baby and so um, I don't necessarily crave the pain or intensity of the contractions but I I crave the experience so anyway um I wrote a few things down so I don't forget um, because the last couple times I've done updates I've been like oh I forgot to mention that thing so anyway but I'm having more contractions like I said so like the real stuff and a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions um, and so it, starting at 37 weeks I went and saw a chiropractor um, where it was like 36 it was almost 37 weeks I think anyway doesn't matter but I went to see a chiropractor for the first time um, in four years, which is terrible, but I did. And I was very picky about what chiropractor to choose from. I wanted to pick a chiropractor who specialized in pregnancy and specialized in the Weber method, which is helping to make sure your baby is in the um, right position. And so I was able to find one down here. It's like 15 minutes away. so thankful for that and he does an amazing job and he just kind of adjusts me and so we're gonna keep doing those adjustments every week or two weeks um, kind of depends he also does acupressure so if baby hasn't come by due date then I might go to him for some acupressure to kind of try and get things going um, and so yeah anyway I also yesterday got a massage my mother-in-law and father-in-law uh, gave me a massage certificate um, a gift certificate so I was able to get a prenatal massage which was amazing oh, I've gotten one with every kid and they feel so good um, I might not have gotten one with my first but I know I got one with Kyla um, but yeah prenatal massages are so awesome they're the best but anyway so yeah did that and then let's see what else do I have um, baby is still super active like I don't know if there's just a lot of room in there and I have a smaller child than usual. I don't know. Um, I'm not large anymore. I've actually caught up with my, the centimeters I am, however centimeters I am, that's how many weeks I am along. Um, so like when she checked me at 36 weeks, um, I was 37 centimeters. So she measured my belly and it was 37 centimeters and I'm, I was almost, I was halfway to 37 already by then, 37 weeks. So I'm definitely caught up there, so I'm not big. Um, I am average, <laughs> what I should be, so that's good. Um, but yeah, so I think just baby is very active, and that's okay. Um, anyway, I have completely prepared almost all of it. I'm still doing little stuff here and there, but everything that is needed for the birth is done, prepped, and ready. So baby can come at any time. Now I'm just trying to not be stressed, relax so that baby can come. Because a lot of times if baby or if your body feels stressed, it's not gonna want to go into labor because if you're stressed and you don't have rest, then your body kind of gives that or it takes that as a signal to maybe not have the baby. Um, so I'm really trying to focus on relaxing making sure I don't stress too much and um, no overdo it. So get lots of rest in your last trimester. Just saying. Baby's still head down um, in a really good position. I've been doing a lot of hands and knees exercises, a lot of bouncing on the ball, um, and a lot of those kind of exercises that kind of keep baby in the right and optimal position. And that has really worked, I think, so that's nice. Um, I've also been taking, um, it's called Gentle Birth, and it's kind of a labor prep um, and healing prep <laughs> tincture. Um, it's got a lot of different herbs in it, and they really help to kind of prepare your uterus um, for labor and for birth. And then it can also help with the healing process of the postpartum period. So um, it's really great. I'll try to, um, I'll link it in the description so you guys can find it yourself. But it's super nice and I think it's really helped like kind of do some pre-labor stuff um, so that I don't have to do so much work while I'm laboring. Um, but yeah, if you want to look into that, I would highly recommend getting it. Because I did, I did a tincture similar with Kyla and her labor was faster and it was closer to her due date and all those things. So anyway, um, but yeah. So yeah, I am feeling pretty good, ready, waiting. We're in the waiting game, just waiting on baby. And so I'm doing all that I can to kind of just prepare, then try to prepare mentally, physically, spiritually, kind of just get my head in the game, um, get my body in the gear, and try to focus on what's about to happen. So anyway, let's go ahead and I'll show you the bump.
the bump. I definitely think I've dropped. Everyone keeps telling me everywhere I go, oh, your baby's dropped since I last saw you. It's like, yeah, I know, I can feel it. Um, when your baby drops, you can also tend to like breathe better because they're not up in your rib cage so much. And I've definitely been able to breathe a lot better. So that's nice. But yeah, anyway, so there is the bump. I can't believe how huge I look. I know I don't look that big, but you guys, I feel huge. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, it's fine, it's all good. <laughs> but I'm just done. I'm ready to have this baby and like figure out if this baby is a girl or boy. That is one of the biggest things I'm super excited about. Like just bringing that baby up and like saying, oh my gosh, you're a girl or oh my gosh you're a boy or this is the name we have picked for you or this is the name we have picked for you um so yeah anyway so that's the update for the last few weeks um like i said we're just waiting um it's the waiting game and so i might have another update for you guys i might not i'm kind of leaning more towards i hope not <laughs> or i hope that my next update is the baby and how that all went so We'll see um yeah so i'm really just trying to trust god to for his timing because it's hard to wait when you're this anxious and this close so i'm really trying to just trust the lord um he has a perfect time and place for this baby or a perfect time for this baby to be born and i need to trust that and be okay with that so um Thing I'm working on <laughs> so yeah anyway so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was kind of fun to just kind of see what I've been up to for the last two or three weeks um, and how baby and I have been doing and so hopefully our next update is maybe labor coming on or maybe a new baby we'll see so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one have a great one bye